In this video, I will show you how we can do a model analysis of a plate in ANSYS Workbench. So let's say if we have a simple plate like this with these dimensions, like length is 180 millimeters and width is 180 millimeters, and we also have a thickness of 2.035 millimeters, and the mass is specified like this, and also the Young's modulus. So volume will be uh, 180 multiplied by 180 multiplied by 2.035. And we have a density of 9.775 e minus 7, which is calculated by mass over volume. So we want to analyze uh, the structural mode shapes of this particular plate when it's subjected to a free vibration. We are not applying any boundary conditions or loading in this mod example. So let's see how we can do that in ANSYS. So first of all, open ANSYS, and first we'll try to model the plate. So go to this model. Since we are doing the model analysis, we drag this model. Uh, module into this uh, window. Let's define our properties first, like material properties. Usually that's the first step in any uh, finite element analysis to define material properties. Uh, density will be in kilogram per millimeter cubed. I mean I will work in millimeters. So I will specify a density of 9.775 e minus 7. 9.775 e minus 7. And Young's modulus will be I'll take it in megapascals and that will be 3938.4 3938.4 so that's it uh, our material properties are defined so go back to project and geometry so this is the place where we will uh, define our geometry it's like this is the place where we'll draw the geometry of the plane so first of all uh, click on XY plane so I will take this plane and uh, go to sketching tab rectangle so uh, first change the units which is very important to millimeters and then rectangle I will draw a rectangle and uh, make sure to put some dimensions general dimension uh, that's on 180 and also this dimension which is also 180 so I will just take this as a 2D uh, shell mesh, I mean shell. We will specify the thickness later. So I will, what I will do is, I will generate a surface from this sketch. So this will won't be like a solid uh, model, model. so it's like a 2D model. So I will go to concept. So first of all, generate the sketch. So go to concept, surface from sketches, and select the edges to generate a sketch apply and generate so you can see uh, now our surface is uh, defined so I'll close that next I'll go to model model so this is the place where we mesh our I mean geometry and also like uh, solve the model so you can see that it's starting this mechanical so it's another different uh, component in ANSYS workbench and now it will import that geometry to this uh, working environment. It should take a bit of time. Yeah, so you can see now it's imported, but you can see that there's a question mark here, right? So it means that uh, you haven't defined the thickness. So you can see that it's appearing in yellow color. It's zero millimeters. I mean, we need to define the thickness uh, to solve the model. So I'll define the thickness 2.035 millimeters. That's it. And then I will mesh it. So meshing is like a, a very uh, necessary thing for finite element analysis. It's like a dividing uh, like a larger problem into uh, small elements. So what I will do is uh, I will uh, try and put 90 elements along this edge and also 90 elements along this edge. So I'll, I mean, I have uh, drawn the geometry and this is 180 millimeter and 180 millimeter, both edges. So to order, like to put 90 uh, elements, I would need a sizing of 2 millimeters per element. So I will go here, mesh, insert, sizing, geometry is this one, apply, and uh, element size will be 2 millimeters. So that will put 90 element, 90 elements along the edge. And so that's it. Uh, and I will generate the mesh, generate mesh. So it will take some time to generate the mesh. Uh, to find the accurate mesh size, uh, you need to do like a thing called convergence, uh, mesh like mesh convergence, to find the perfect uh, mesh size for your 
a model I mean for a problem but in this case I'll just go with a 2 millimeter element size so you can see that a very fine mesh is generated actually this is a very uh, good mesh for this problem so what I'll do is uh, this is a free free boundary condition so there will be six uh, I mean rigid body modes so the next step will be to uh, define the number of uh, mode shapes uh, to extract so I'll go to this analysis settings and I will specify 20 I mean the first six I told you is are, the, are called rigid body modes so if I explain what a rigid body mode is like a rigid body mode is defined as a free translational or rotation of a body uh, without undergoing any significant internal deformation so that's the basic def like definition I mean uh, if you take like a for a free body analysis where there are no loads or constraints there will be six rigid body modes three translational modes and three rotational modes so the seventh mode will be our first structural mode and that will be the fundamental frequency of the system so what we are interested in is that first mode that seventh mode which is the first structural mode so you can now neglect the six rigid body modes uh, the rigid body modes will be zero frequency or very close to zero like to be like 1 e to the power minus 4 or just zero hertz so that's it uh, so I'll do is uh, I'll just solve the model I've, I've specified everything uh, so give it a shot solve yeah so you have you can see that uh, I mean the model is solved but I'll just also put this thing called a uh, total deformation so you can see how the plate deforms so and solve it again so you can see that uh, now the model is solved and these are is the tabular data for the frequencies of the different modes so we asked for 20 modes so you can see 20 modes here and I said that the first six modes will be zero like and the first non-zero mode is the structural mode so this is the fundamental frequencies 81.495 and these are all rigid body modes so you can see uh, if I animate this you can animate that So this is something called rigid body motion. I mean, uh, you can't see any uh, wave propagation uh, or any vibration in this mode. I mean, this is like a, a, tr a translation mode. So this is uh, the plate is not undergoing any sort of vibration. Like you won't, you don't see any vibration pattern in this rigid body mode. So that will be zero hertz. Uh, so that's the first mode here. If you want to see the second mode, you can go to second mode and solve it again. So you can see this is another rigid body mode so you can see it's another rigid body mode rotate like translation mode uh, what we are interested in is the seven mode so what I'll do is uh, I'll just go to seven and then solve it again so this is the mode that I'm mostly interested in which is the first structural mode of our system so that's 81.495 and this is the fundamental frequency of the system so you can see uh, that the displacement at the edges are very high, uh, quite high. So this is the first uh, structural mode of our system. If I animate that, so you can see that uh, a wave is going. So you can see that the first wave, you can see that particular wave in the structure. So that's, uh, you will get one waveform in the first mode. So then I'll go to uh, 8, so to see the second structural mode. So you can see the second structural mode here. So you can see actually there will be two uh, waveforms in this second structural mode. So if I see here, so you can see two waves going on here, two waveforms. Actually, uh, that's the basics of model analysis of plate in analysis. I mean, this can be applied to a beam, anything. I mean, it's not just limited to a plate because we are doing a free vibration analysis. It's you just need to keep in mind that the first six modes are rigid body modes and the seventh mode will be your structural uh, fundamental frequency of the system so i hope you guys got an understanding of how to do a model analysis of a plate in ANSYS workbench 
so i hope to catch you guys in a future video uh, so thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my facebook channel and also subscribe to my youtube channel as well so keep in touch take care